A DIMM or dual inline memory module comprises a series of dynamic random access memory integrated circuits. These modules are mounted on a printed circuit board and designed for use in personal computers, workstations, and servers. DIMMs began to replace SIMMs as the predominant type of memory module as Intel P5 based Pentium processors began to gain market share. While the contacts on SIMMs on both sides are redundant, DIMMs have separate electrical contacts on each side of the module. Another difference is that standard SIMMs have a 32 bit data path, while standard DIMMs have a 64 bit data path. Since Intel's Pentium, Many processors have a 64-bit bus width, requiring SIMMs installed in matched pairs in order to populate the data bus. The processor would then access the two SIMMs in parallel. DIMMs were introduced to eliminate this practice. The most common types of DIMMs are, 72-pin SODIMM, used for FPM DRAM and EDO DRAM, 100-pin DIMM, used for printer SDRAM, 144-pin SODIMM, used for SDR-SDRAM, 168-pin DIMM, used for SDR-SDRAM, 172-pin MicroDIM, used for DDR-SDRAM, 184-pin DIMM, used for DDR-SDRAM, 200-pin SODIMM, used for DDR-SDRAM and DDR2-SDRAM, 204-pin SODIMM, used for DDR3-SDRAM, 214-pin MicroDIM, used for DDR2-SDRAM, 240-pin DIMM, used for DDR2-SDRAM, DDR3-SDRAM and FB-DIM DRAM, 244-pin Mini-DIM, used for DDR2-SDRAM, 260-pin SODIMM, used for DDR4-SDRAM, 288-pin DIMM, used for DDR4-SDRAM, 168-pin SDRAM. On the bottom edge of 168-pin DIMMs there are two notches, and the location of each notch determines a particular feature of the module. The first notch is DRAM key position. It represents a RFU, registered, and unbuffered. The second notch is voltage key position. It represents 5.0 AV, 3.3 AV, and reserved. The upper DIMM in the photo is an unbuffered 3.3 AV 168 pin DIMM. Variants of DIMM slot support DDR, DDR2, and DDR3 RAM. DDR DIMMs, DDR, DDR2, DDR3, and DDR4 all have different pin counts and different notch positions. As of August, 2014, DDR4-SDRAM is a modern emerging type of dynamic random access memory with a high bandwidth interface, and has been in use since 2013. It is the higher speed successor to DDR2 and DDR3. DDR4-SDRAM is neither forward nor backward compatible with any earlier type of random access memory because of different signaling voltages, timings, as well as other differing factors between the technologies and their implementation. SPDE EPROM, a DIMM's capacity and other operational parameters may be identified with Serial Presence Detect, an additional chip which contains information about the module type and timing for the memory controller to be configured correctly. The SPDE EPROM connects to the system management bus and may also contain thermal sensors. Error Correction ECC DIMMs are those that have extra data bits which can be used by the system memory controller to detect and correct errors. There are numerous ECC schemes, but perhaps the most common is single error correct, double error detect which uses an extra byte per 64-bit word. ECC modules usually carry a multiple of 9 instead of a multiple of 8 chips. Ranking Sometimes memory modules are designed with two or more independent sets of DRAM chips connected to the same address and data buses. Each such set is called a rank. Since all ranks share the same buses, only one rank may be accessed at any given time. It is specified by activating the corresponding rank's chip select signal. All other ranks are deactivated for the duration of the operation by having their corresponding CS signals deactivated. DIMMs are currently being commonly manufactured with up to four ranks per module. 
consumer DIMM vendors have recently begun to distinguish between single and dual rank DIMMs. DIMMs are often referred to as single sided, or double sided to describe whether the DRAM chips are located on one or both sides of the module's printed circuit board. However, these terms may cause confusion, as the physical layout of the chips does not necessarily relate to how they are logically organized or accessed. JDEC decided that the terms dual sided, double sided, or dual banked were not correct when applied to registered DIMMs. Organization Most DIMMs are built using a 4 memory chips or a 8 memory chips with 9 chips per side. A 4 or a 8 refer to the data width of the drum chips and bits. In the case of the A 4 registered DIMMs, the data width per side is 36 bits. Therefore, the memory controller needs to address both sides at the same time to read or write the data it needs. In this case, the two-sided module is single-ranked. For a, eight registered DIMMs, each side is 72 bits wide, so the memory controller only addresses one side at a time. Note, the above example applies to ECC memory which stores 72 bits instead of the more common 64. There would also be one extra chip per group of eight which is not counted. Speeds, for various technologies, there are certain bus and device clock frequencies that are standardized. There is also a decided nomenclature for each of these speeds for each type. DIMMs based on single data rate DRAM have the same bus frequency for data, address and control lines. DIMMs based on double data rate DRAM have data but not the strobe at double the rate of the clock. This is achieved by clocking on both the rising and falling edge of the data strobes. Power consumption and voltage gradually became lower with each generation of DDR-based DIMMs. Form factors Several form factors are commonly used in DIMMs. Single data rate synchronous DRAM DIMMs were primarily manufactured in 1.5 inches and 1.7 inches heights. When one new rack mount servers started becoming popular, these form factor registered DIMMs had to plug into angled DIMM sockets to fit in the 1.75 inches high box. To alleviate this issue, the next standards of DDR DIMMs were created with a low profile height of around 1.2 inches. These fit into vertical DIMM sockets for a one new platform. With the advent of blade servers, Angled slots have once again become common in order to accommodate LP form factor DIMMs in these space constrained boxes. This led to the development of the very low profile form factor DIMM with a height of around 0.72 inches. The DDR3JEDEC standard for VLP DIMM height is around 0.740 inches. These will fit vertically in ATCA systems. Full high 240 pin DDR2 and DDR3 DIMMs are all specified at a height of around 1.18 inches by standard set by JEDEC. These form factors include 240 pin DIMM, SODIM, Mini DIMM, and Micro DIMM. Full high 288 pin DDR4 DIMMs are slightly taller than their DDR3 counterparts at 1.23 inches. Similarly, VLP DDR4 DIMMs are also marginally taller than their DDR3 equivalent at nearly 0.74 inches. See also References External links How to install PC memory guides, very low-profile DDR2 white paper